Today's topic is Gauss elimination method and this is from matrices and linear system of equations. So we have to solve the system of equations. So here is the solution for that and the system of equations can be written as The system of equations can be written as here the quotient of x is 3, the quotient of y is 1 and the quotient of z is 2 and this is again 2 minus 3 minus 1 and this is 1 to 1 into so this is x y z is equal to and this column is 3 this is 3 this is minus 3 and this is 4 and now the augmented matrix can be written as the augmented matrix is nothing but a b so this will be 3 1 2 this is 2 minus 3 minus 1. This is 1, 2, 1. And we have to add this column. That is 3 minus 3 and 4. Now we have to find out the rank of the equation. So for my convenience, I need 1 in the row 1. So for that, I am interchanging row 1 to row 3. So this can be written as, so row 1 at the top. 1, 3, 1, 4. And row 2 as it is, that is 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 3. And uh, row 1 as uh, row 3, that is 3, 1, 2, 3. So first of all, what I have to do? So I want to use this first diagonal element in order to make this 2, 0. So in order to make R2, 0, so R2 will be as it is like that. And using this, I have to make this 0. So, I have to multiply with 2 and subtract. That is minus 2 R1. And the next one, so I have to make this row 3 0 here. So, I have to use this element. And for that, I have to multiply with 3 and subtract. R3 will be as it is like that. And this is 3 R1. So, now see what happens here. So, row 1 is as it is. That is 1, 2, 1, 4. And uh, row 2, so I am writing here, so row 2 operation is nothing but row 2 minus 2 R1. So what is row 2 here? This is row 2, that is 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 3. And there is minus in between. So we have to multiply row 1 with 2. So this is row 1, we have to multiply with 2. So this is 2 1 is a 2, 2 2 is a 4 and again 2 1 is a 2 and again 2 4 is a, this is 8. Now, I am going to write uh, this one. That is, this is 2 minus 2 is 0. And this is minus 7. And this is minus 3. And this value is minus 11. And the next operation here, R3 is R3. So, for row 3, what is the operation here? R3 minus 3 R1. So, R3 I have to write as it is. What is R3? 3, 1, 2, 3. So, this is 3, 1, 2, 3. And there is minus in between. I am keeping minus. And I have to multiply row 1 with 3. So, this is uh, th row 1. So, we have to multiply with 3. 3, 1 is a 3. 3, 2 is a 6. Again, 3, 1 is a 3. And again, 3, 4 is so This is 12. Now, what happens? See, 3 minus 3, this is 0. And this is uh, minus 5. And this one is minus 1. And this one is minus 9. And this one is minus 9. Here, the second logic here is the first diagonal element. Using this first diagonal element, I made these two 0. And second diagonal element, I have to use this to make this one 0. So, here... I am using this one. So, in order to make R3 0, see what is the operation. So, I have to multiply with 7 here, 5 there and I have to subtract. So, 7 R3 minus this is 5 R2. So, row 1 and row 2 will be as it is. So, row 3 only there is a change that is 1, 2, 1, 4 will be as it is. And 0 this is minus 7, minus 3, minus 11 will be as it is. And see here... 7 R3. So, each and every element should be multiplied with 7 here. This is 0 and this is 
सेवन फाइजर दिस इज माइनस थर्टी फाइव एंड सेवन इंटू माइनस वन इज माइनस सेवन एंड सेवन इंटू नाइन इज माइनस सिक्सटी थ्री एंड देर इज माइनस इन बिटवीन एंड रो टू आई हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई विथ फाइव सो दिस इज रो टू आई हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई विथ फाइव सो फाइव जीरो इज अ जीरो एंड दिस इज फाइव एंड दिस इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई विथ फाइव दिस विल बी माइनस थर्टी फाइव सो दिस इज ऑलरेडी प्लस थर्टी फाइव दिस इज प्लस so if i multiply with 5 here this will be minus 15 so this will be plus 15 so if i multiply with 5 this will be minus 55 minus of minus plus 55 and see what remains here this is 0 and plus 35 minus 35 this is also 0 and this value is 8 here and this value is minus 8 here so this can be written as so this equation can be written as see this is 1 2 1 4 and this is 0 minus 7 minus 3 minus 11 this is 0 0 this is 8 and this is minus 8 can be written as see here this is 1 2 1 Zero minus seven minus three. This is zero zero eight into x y z into this is four minus eleven. This is minus eight. Now if I multiply, this is one into x is x. This is two into y is two y, and one into z is z is equal to four. And zero into x is zero. Minus seven into y is minus seven y, and this is minus three z is equal to here minus eleven. Zero into x is zero. Zero into y is zero, and eight. This will be eight z is equal to this is minus eight. Now if I equate the last equation, so. Z will be if I send this eight to other side that is minus eight by eight and Z value is minus one. So if I substitute the same thing here in this equation two that is seven y minus three Z is equal to minus eleven. See what happens here minus seven y minus three into minus one is equal to minus eleven. Minus seven y plus three is equal to minus eleven. Minus seven y will be minus eleven minus three, and minus seven y is equal to minus fourteen, and y value is minus fourteen by minus seven. So y is equal to two. So after getting the z value and y value, I have to use this first equation. So x plus two y. See here, this is x plus two y plus z is equal to four. So if I use this one. the second equation so this will be x plus 2 times of what is the y value here this is 2 and what is the z value this is minus 1 is equal to 4 and x plus 4 minus 1 is equal to 4 and x plus 3 is equal to 4 and x is equal to 4 minus 3 and x is equal to 1 so all the values are ready here so x y z values are nothing but what is x value here so this is 1 this is 2 and this is minus 1 again so this is how we have to solve using gauss elimination method so the process is very simple here first of all we have to write in the form of a x is equal to b so this is the matrix a x is equal to this is the b matrix and later we have to write it in an augmented matrix and we have to interchange row 1 to row two for my convenience so uh, second row will be as it is and row uh, row three to row one and row one to r three so using this first diagonal element i have to make these two zero so after making these two zero i have to use the second diagonal element in order to make this one zero and after making this zero so clearly we can write again in the form of a x is equal to b and we will get three equations so after equating e one by one equations we will be getting the values of x y and z and this is the final solution and this is how we have to solve and thank you so much for staying till the end you know if you really like please take time to raise your thumb pass it on to your friends and because they also need it thank you so much